Welcome to another episode of Black and Blue. This episode we have titled Throw Away. Throw Away. Mm -hmm. um, I should add something to toss into the corner over there. Uh huh. Yep. Oh, we didn't do this well. We should have oh. yeah, chucked it into the trash can. So, Throw Away, the reason why we're going with this, uh, this mm -hmm. title for this episode is because of a verse in John chapter 15. Exactly. Maybe you want to read that. Yes, I do. One of my favorites. You did not choose me. But I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should abide so that whatever you ask the father in my name, he may give it to you. Yeah. So this is the exact opposite of throwaway. Jesus is saying, nope, you're not garbage. I chose you. You're my treasure. I made you mine. I've chosen you. And not just, I didn't just choose you, but I have a purpose for you in that choosing mm -hmm. that you bear fruit and that fruit isn't gonna go uh, bad it's not gonna uh, ripen and then rot it's gonna be work that will yeah, abide, abide. And, and last forever yeah yep. not like mm -hmm. the banana I bought a couple weeks ago and now it's brown in my pantry <laughs> oh no and nice and smelly and yeah the fruit flies. It's, it's beyond banana bread oh no uh, it's, it's going in the trash it's a throwaway it's it is throwaway <laughs> Yeah. And then, I mean, we've all probably felt this way at some point, at some point in life where going, you know, I'm not enough on the throwaway. Mm -hmm. I can't do this right. I just, uh, I'm a failure. What are some other ways to think about it that we yeah. have experienced, that you have experienced? <laughs> uh, yeah, I have nothing to bring to the table. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, just that feeling of not enoughness mm -hmm. that you just not yet. You, you, there's no good use for me here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I I, yeah. I am garbage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, and Jesus doesn't call uh, his disciples here garbage. Uh, no. You know, he actually calls them friends. Mm -hmm. uh, a couple of verses before. I mean, the fruit we're talking about is spelled L O V E love. Exactly. Uh, right. It, it's, uh, mm -hmm. it's love fruit, mm -hmm. passion fruit. Um. Uh, sacrificial fruit. Love lemons. No. Oh, oh. Uh, <laughs> when life gives you lemons. lemons. Exactly. Um, yeah, he calls them friends. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, he says that in verse 12, mm -hmm. uh, this is my commandment that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, that someone lay down his life for his friends. Mm -hmm. You are my friends, not you will be my friends. You are present tense. Mm -hmm. And these are the guys that are going to abandon him, desert him, deny him. Mm -hmm. One of them Betray is actually him. going to yeah, turn him uh, oh, turn him in mm -hmm. to the authorities. Mm -hmm. um, you know, yeah, I mean, he calls them friends. And he knows all the bad that they're going to do to him. Mm -hmm. He still calls them friends. And you are my friends if you do what I command you. And uh, no longer do I call you servants, for the servant does not know what his master is doing, but I have called you friends, for all that I have heard from my father I have made known to you. Mm -hmm. He calls them friends, and he says, you know, no greater love than this, mm -hmm. that a person lay down his life for his friends. Isn't that what Jesus is going to do? Yes, he will. On that Friday, we call good. Yeah, I mean, he is the, he's the garbage man, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. so all the things that could make us throw away to God. Mm -hmm. uh, Jesus takes away. I, you yeah. know, he's the Lamb of God that takes away the garbage of the world, mm -hmm. the sin of the world, the unlovableness of the world. Yeah, the not yeah. enoughness of the world mm -hmm. uh, on the cross, and he does mm -hmm. so actually outside Jerusalem, pretty much where the dumpster uh, was, mm -hmm. <laughs> Gehenna, what they called it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's pretty much Calvary is. It's right at, you know, it's where all the junk is, right. all the garbage is. Mm -hmm. And so Jesus is not only the, the garbage man, he becomes the garbage. Mm -hmm. uh, he who knew no sin becomes sin. Sin for us. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And he does yeah. that so that he can take all that's unlovable and transform it into... Lovable. Yeah. He takes all of us. Um, you know, the hymn talks about, there's a hymn that talks about love to the loveless shown that they might lovely be. Oh, he, that's beautiful. It's one of my favorite lines. Um, just that Jesus takes us who are garbage and gives us his grace so that we're um, grand. Uh, what would be a different word? Or he takes trash and makes it a treasure. Yeah, yeah, there we go. I like that. <laughs> when you can't 
alliterate with one word, change the word. <laughs> change, with it, change the letter. He takes garbage and turn it into gold. There we right. go. Thank you. Is that okay? Yes, okay. that works. That works. Uh-huh. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, and this changes then not only how we see ourselves, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, yep. it really changes how we see everyone because mm-hmm. because because uh, we get to actually when it when it says here obey my commandments, mm-hmm. um, you know, uh, he, he's telling. Well, actually, I would just go even go go back a little bit more. Yeah. He says, "Abide in my love." Mm-hmm. Abide yeah. in my, like make your home in my love, and mm-hmm. we can do that. Yes. I mean, we know where to make our home in His love. Mm-hmm. Where, 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 how? Uh huh. In his church. In his, as, yeah. As members of his church. And guess what? We were chosen and brought into his church. We were chosen and brought into his love um, so that we can bear much fruit. Yeah. Um, we have so, to, yeah, with yeah. your baptism, your baptism day is, is the day you can say, Jesus chose me. Yeah. 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 I was grafted into the vine Absolutely. on my baptism day. Yeah. Adopted. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. And then in the Lord's Supper, we get to continually be fed. It's a love feast. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, we're getting to be fed by Jesus and abide in him, the vine. Yeah. Um, and so then we're receiving his love for loving the people in our lives, like maybe siblings or teachers or uh, you fill in the blank, the annoying person who doesn't really yeah. seem very lovable. Um, our Lord Jesus fills us with his love so that then we... Uh, grow in our love yeah that then we start seeing even the unlovable as actually jesus sees them which is as lovable yeah mm-hmm. yeah I mean, you're making a point yeah i mean so we don't have to muster up the strength to mm-hmm. do this greater love mm-hmm. uh we receive that greater love yeah. in you know in words and water bread and wine mm-hmm. and let that greater love then flow mm-hmm. through us to the people around us right and it's not always easy i mean people uh, are hard to love i mean i'm mm-hmm. hard to love sometimes i mean I'll, I'll, I'll admit that uh-huh um and be honest about that and I'm sure you can be hard to love too at times. Mm-hmm. Uh, but thanks be to God that we have a God, uh, you know, in Christ Jesus who hears our prayers. Yeah. Uh, for help with that. Exactly. And I mean, at the end of verse uh, 16, you we get to hear that um, when Jesus says, uh, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give it to you. Mm-hmm. I mean, one of those things we're asking him for, and I think yeah. probably specifically for this text is asking for love asking to abide in jesus love to stay connected to jesus the vine um, Mm -hmm. so that we bear fruit so that we bear that fruit which is called which is spelled (laughs) l-o-v-e yeah and it's a love given to everyone because no one is is a throwaway yes you know jesus was the greatest Mm -hmm. throwaway um, mm-hmm. so you could really throw away a throwaway culture mm-hmm. um, and then open wide uh, you know the door to a love that is for everyone yes exactly you know a he love. throws open that door mm-hmm. yeah you know? yeah so then because of this I mean we get to wake up every day and walk through the day going okay I'm not garbage I'm not a throwaway and you're not garbage. You're not a throwaway. You are chosen and loved, and I'm chosen and loved too. And so are you. And then the way, and then you can really demonstrate that in concrete, concrete acts of love. Oh yeah, you absolutely. Know? You know that uh, bumper crop harvest that God is bringing forth mm-hmm. in your life and my life, and mm-hmm. it's fruit that will abide forever. Mm-hmm. Now talk, talk about meaningful yeah. than work. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's very meaningful. Mm -hmm. It's going to last forever. (laughs) Exactly. It's not insignificant. Even if it's really something small, like saying, hey, I I screwed up. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. And then those words following up with, I forgive you. (laughs) Um, Yeah. 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 I love you. Uh, So many different ways that 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 love fruit. I mean, yeah. I mean, listen to mom and dad with the chores. Mm -hmm. I mean. Or your teachers. Yeah. Or how you're talking about classmates or friends. Showing good um, sportsmanship on the mm-hmm, field mm-hmm. and off the field. Uh-huh, exactly. Uh, being a good worker um, at your job, you yeah. know. It's, it's all ordinary ways that this yeah. fruit comes forth. It's not, yeah. it's not in these uh, great uh, acts and achievements that will wind up, you know, on the cover of Time magazine. Mm-hmm. But it's just in those ordinary ways, mm-hmm. right? In those ordinary places, yeah. the living room, the classroom, mm-hmm. uh, the basketball court, mm-hmm. uh, you know, the uh, the narthex, mm-hmm. you know, just ordinary places where uh, God uses us to show an extraordinary uh, love, mm-hmm. you know, really passing out a fruit that uh, has no expiration date. Yeah. 
spelled L O V E love. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it actually just keeps growing and growing and growing and growing. It really does. <laughs> yeah, it does. Absolutely. Yeah. Which is uh, also really good. Unlike cool. my banana that's shriveling, shriveling, shriveling. That's right? a really you know, good right, point. Right in the uh, the pantry, just just getting really gross looking. A it's science re- a science experiment, I would say. <laughs> it's reverse fruit. It just always <laughs> keeps growing, not shrinking. Nice. Uh, yeah, yeah, so you're not a throwaway. Mm-hmm. I'm not a throwaway. She's not either. Yes. That we've been chosen mm-hmm. and appointed to bear fruit, which means it's going to happen. It will. As we abide mm-hmm. and make our home in his love, mm-hmm. the love fruit's going to come forth. It will. It's, it's bound to happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And it's fruit for everyone to enjoy. Mm-hmm. And it's actually meant for enjoyment. Exactly. <laughs> Even for us, too. <laughs> <You know>? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So, hey. You get a walk through today going, you're not a throwaway. You're a treasure yep. chosen by Jesus. You're not garbage or gold <laughs> in Christ Jesus. <laughs> Woohoo! Yep, yep. So, well, oh, yeah. wonderful. Awesome, awesome. Okay, by his wounds. We are healed. Until, until next time. Toodles. Toodles. Toodles.